Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. Um, I have another demonstration, body code and emotion code session that I wanna share with you today. And today's session is very special. Um, first of all, this session is by phone. So I do, not only do I do Zoom sessions with people, but I also work with people by phone and by email. And so this individual um, has agreed to receive a session by phone and you guys get to see what that's like. Um, thank you so much, Lindsay, for joining us today for your session. Excited to work with you. Um, and, and this session is, is very special because I think a lot of people probably um, will resonate with the stressors and anxieties that people are experiencing in our culture right now, um, whether it's people who have experienced COVID or people who um, have family members or friends who have had COVID or people who've just been isolated um, and have not been able to have their normal routine, go out in public, interact with people um, the way they did before. And also um, people who may be either in law enforcement or be family members of people in law enforcement or military um, may be experiencing high volumes of stress and anxiety right now. And so I am so grateful to be able to offer this session to Lindsay today and help her um, feel a little bit better. And so Lindsay, we'll get started. Um, is there particular symptom or issue that you want me to look at or do you want me just to see what's ready to be released? Uh, just see what's, what's ready. Okay. All right. So she wants us to see what's ready to be released. So we'll get started. Um, Lindsay, I'm going to take some deep breaths just in and out and I'd like for you to do the same. Just let the shoulders drop. Let the neck relax. Visualize that place where you feel most safe, most at peace. Okay. We just give love and thanks today for Lindsay. I'm so thankful that I get to work with her and help her heal. We're just thankful for today's session for miraculous healing. Love and gratitude. All right. And I am dialed into Lindsay's subconscious energy. And we are going to get started. So she's asked that I just check and see what's ready to be released. So we're going to start with the body code curriculum. Any upper um, back pain? There is a misalignment in your T3, T4 of your thoracic disc. Okay. That could cause some um, numbness or weakness in the upper limbs, some discomfort in the upper back, stiffness in the upper back. Could cause heart, pal heart palpitations or digestive issues or lung issues or difficulty with breathing. So we yeah, do. Okay, so that's the breathing's been a big issue. Okay, well, let's work on this T3, T4 and see what's the underlying root cause of the misalignment. Okay, um, excess cortisol toxicity, which, like we talked about. A lot of people have high stress, high anxiety right now. And, um, you know, if you're watching the news or if you're working as an essential employee and have encountered some things, your stress level could be very, very high right now. Um, so we want to find out why the cortisol is so high, Lindsay, and then we are going to release it and then release this excess cortisol. Okay. All right, there is a shared heart wall trapped emotion. So 
a heart wall is um, built up energy of trapped emotions that um, become like a wall, like a barrier. Because subconsciously, a lot of times we're trying to keep ourselves from getting hurt. But what can happen is that we build up a wall and we don't really get to give and receive love as much as we would want to um, because of this heart wall. And this one's actually shared. It's shared with the female, which is common. I've, I've been saying this. Females need to stop sharing our trapped emotions <laughs> with everybody. Um, so let's find out what emotion that is. And it's actually um, a trapped emotion of anxiety. So when we release it, we're just going to, with love and intention, um, just believe that this anxiety is going to be released from this person that you're sharing it with as well and that you both receive healing. Okay. All right, so I'm going to release it. So what I'm going to do is I am working by proxy um, on my body as if it were yours. And so I am just going to um, rub this magnet down the governing meridian three times and with love and gratitude, we just release this trapped emotion of anxiety. Take a deep breath in and out. Just let it all out. Okay. That anxiety trapped emotion is gone. And now I'm going to rub three times with my magnet down the governing meridian. And we're just going to, with faith and intention, release all this excess cortisol toxicity. Love and gratitude. Okay, it's gone. All right. Let's see if there's anything else causing a misalignment between that T3, T4 vertebrae. Okay. Okay, there's a, a imbalance in a meridian. Um, I don't speak Chinese very well, okay, at all. Um, yin linking meridian. Um, it's actually when it's imbalanced, you might see blood circulation issues, you might see depression, headaches, chest discomfort, um, gastric discomfort, or maybe like an emotional loss of willpower. Um, with this being imbalanced. And that has been, um, a, I've had a lot of that, like headaches and gastric problems and stuff like that. So that definitely resonates? Yes, definitely. Okay. All right. So let's check and see the underlying root cause of this imbalance. The first thing is there's a sickness memory. Um, have you ever gotten sick and you, you kind of remember like the emotional energy around that sickness? Yes. It's, um, it's very common. I um, ended up with flu-like symptoms right when everything happened with COVID and it was very scary because if you watch the news, you're gonna die. Um, and, and there was a lot of anxiety and a lot of emotions attached. And I keep telling people about being sick, but I remember it. There's a lot of emotion and that, that can get trapped in our body and, and cause um, issues down the road. Um, can I ask how old you are? Um, 36. Okay. So do you remember anything, whether it be like um, allergies or sinus, um, flu or anything more serious, getting sick like around the ages of 23 to 25? Yes, um, that was, uh, I believe, the second time I had gotten pneumonia um, after a serious car wreck. And um, it took me about, three months to finally get over it. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot to overcome. 
there's some trapped emotional energy with that. Let's see what that is so we can release it. There's four trapped emotions connected to that, that time period. The first emotion is indecisiveness. That makes sense because I kept feeling like I was having trouble breathing, but did not go to the doctor because I didn't feel like I needed to. Mm -hmm. Kept being um, going back and forth about whether I actually needed to go to the doctor. Sure. Yeah, I've I've been there. There's also a trapped emotion of fear connected to that. That makes sense. Yeah. Panic. And overwhelm. You ready to release these? Yes. Okay. So we're just going to hold love and gratitude in our hearts as we release overwhelm, releasing panic, releasing fear, releasing indecisiveness, releasing the sickness memory, and rebalancing this yin linking meridian. Love and gratitude. Okay. Looks like there's a herb or spice. Okay. Do you have any lemon balm in your garden? I do. Okay, good. Your body is wanting some. Um, okay. You could, um, which I'm sure you know how to use it, um, add it to your water or make tea with it or any other way you'd like to use lemon balm. Um, yeah. It's it's very calming. Um, all right, so is there anything else she needs or needs to be addressed? Yes. Okay. All right, the next thing that is um, causing toxicity in the body and causing this thoracic T3, T4 to be misaligned is um, a Wi-Fi toxicity, which is very, very common because we're on Wi-Fi now. <laughs> we are always exposed to Wi-Fi. Um, that I wear that Q-Link pendant, um, and I now have devices on um, our phones and laptop and have a plug-in in the house. Um, I don't remember in your house if you have Himalayan salt lamps, but I, I have one. Okay, good. I have read that those can clean the air of um, toxicities such as Wi-Fi. Sure, sure. So that might be beneficial. First, before we release this toxin from your body, I am going to check just to see if there's an energy, like an underlying reason why it's trapped um, in the body. Okay. There's an image. There's an image trapped around the age of 25. And for privacy, if you don't have to disclose if you don't want to, but there's there's this image that's stuck. Um, in your body that's causing um, physical issues, and it's related to a time frame between the ages of 24 to 26, and the 
emotion around it is despair. Does that resonate with anything? I can't remember anything specifically because I don't remember ages, like sure. when I'm certain ages, what happened and what occurred. Um, I know that, that the head on collision I had was around that age, but um, I cannot remember if that was the age that um, both of my grandparents died within a couple months. Each other. Mm. I think that would have been around that age. Okay. Um, grandfather uh, passed away, and then exactly one month later, grandmother passed away. Oh, wow. So let's check. Is this related to her grandparents passing? No, is this related? It's related to the car accident. Okay. Okay. All right. So you ready to release it? Yes. Okay. All right, so let's release all this trapped emotional energy of despair. We release the emotional energy of this image. And we release all this toxicity from Wi-Fi energy from her body. Love and gratitude. Um, I know we've talked and I know that, um, massage has been something that you've done pretty regularly. Um, I'm getting that that might be something to consider whenever you can, um, to continue help supporting, um, your vertebrae. Um, let's see. That's funny that you say that because I was just thinking that yesterday that I, I need to set an well, your subconscious is on board with that. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> All right, let's see if there's anything else your body is wanting. Do you like lavender? Uh, yes, I have lavender plants in my house, and I do use um, the lavender essential oil around the house sometimes. Okay, good. That's Your body's wanting that, too. Um, is there anything else that um, needs to be released um, for the thoracic T3, T4? No, can we realign that? Yes. Okay, so with faith and intention, I'm going to rub the magnet three times, and we just declare that the T3, T4 vertebrae, they just go back into perfect alignment, and we just send them love and gratitude. We're thankful for these vertebrae. We're thankful for all they do and how perfectly they function. Love and gratitude. And then let's check to see if there's food your body might want to help itself continue to heal. Spinach. Your body would like some spinach. Are you sure about that? <laughs> I knew I was going to get that reaction. <laughs> oh, please don't hate me. Quinoa. Do you like quinoa? Um, I'm honestly not sure I've ever tried it. Okay. It's like the super grain. It does have a lot of protein in it. I kind of like it. I don't know if you like bowls with like roasted like my per favorite way to eat it is like you cook it like rice like you could even cook it in a rice cooker and then um I like roasted veggies and of course you could like cook some steak or chicken or whatever to add to it and then put it together in a bowl with like some spinach and then I like like Cholula or some kind of hot sauce on top for flavor um okay. you can add garlic seasoning um, something like that. That might be a way to get both of those foods in. Um, okay. You know, add some cheese on top, you know. <laughs> All right. Is there anything else that we can release for her? No. 
how long is her body going to process less than a day? No, one, two, two days to process. Okay. So processing is kind of like when, so massage is one of the most common modalities. So most people know, you know what it's like when you've had a massage and for like maybe a day or two, your body's kind of adjusting right. and processing. Yeah, it's the same thing with this. So for two days, your body's working through releasing these toxins, releasing these emotions, um, like the after effect of releasing these. And so um, drinking plenty of water um, would be good. If you have Epsom salts and can take an Epsom salt bath, um, that is a quick way to um, release toxins in general, release any kind of pathogens. You could add those essential oils or herbs to the Epsom salt bath um, before bed, um, and it definitely helps relax the muscles, um, helps with sleep, things like that. That's always good. Um, and then I would say during the processing time, um, sometimes thoughts or emotions may come up from past experiences if they do give me a call and I will recheck you or text okay. me. And um, just remember, take some deep breaths. You've got a beautiful yard. So if you can go barefooted five to 10 minutes on the grass, um, standing or sitting, um, that will help release inflammation. It will help the body process and it actually helps um, eliminate symptoms of anxiety and depression. Um, there's books about it. If you want to know the science of it, I think earthing.com has a lot of peer reviewed information on it. Um, I just do it. I just love it. It, just, it helps you make, help make you feel more grounded. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. Definitely. And I've read about um, if you go, um, the best way to 